Hey guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. Now you must be familiar with this symbol and you must have seen it in your books arranged in this manner in a half and full bridge rectifier. Yes, it's a diode. It is a passive device and allows the flow of current in one direction only. But since there are so many types of diodes, how to differentiate between them and most importantly, which one to use according to its requirement in our circuit. So in this video, we are going to see basic difference between three most widely used diodes, rectifier, short key and wiener diode and when to use one. But before jumping to its type, let's see some basic specifications of a diode. First, VF, which indicates forward voltage drop when current flows from T terminal to N terminal. That's why it's called forward voltage drop. IF, which is the maximum forward current a diode can handle. VR, it is the reverse breakdown voltage when current flows from N terminal to P terminal. That is in reverse direction. IR, the quantity of current flows in diode is reverse bias. That means when current flows in reverse direction. And at last, reverse recovery time, which I'll explain later. So first of all, let's talk about the most common diode, which is a rectifier diode. A rectifier diode is a simple spin junction diode used mostly for rectification purposes in a half bridge and full bridge rectifier. And that's because of its high breakdown voltage, typically in the order of 200 to 1000 volts, which is obvious. The forward breakdown voltage of a rectifier diode is between 0.7 to 0.9 volt. As an example, Let's say you want to design a bridge rectifier for your AC to DC converter project. For this bridge rectifier, diode of 1 and 4 rectifier series is an optimum choice. Now short key diode. This is the symbol of short key diode. Now it looks similar to a rectifier diode but there are many differences between a short key and rectifier diode. Unlike a rectifier diode, junction of short key diode is between n-type semiconductor to metal plate. Short key diode, also known as barrier diode, is used mainly in low voltage circuits because forward voltage drop of short key diode is less than a rectifier diode, typically in the range of 0.25 to 0.5 volt. Whereas in the rectifier diodes, this range is between 0.7 to 0.9. Also, electrons are the majority charge carriers on both sides of the junction, thus it is a unipolar device. It is mostly used in high frequency applications like in a SMPS, and that's because of less temperature rise and high switching speed pertaining to its small recovery time. Now what is recovery time? When a diode is suddenly switched off, it takes a small amount of time for the forward current flowing through the diode to die down and the time taken for this is called reverse recovery time. Compared to normal diode, reverse recovery time of short key diode is much smaller and thus making it suitable to be used in fast switching circuits. Now disadvantage of short key diode is its low breakdown voltage, usually between 20 volt to 40 volt, making it unsuitable for a rectifier circuit. As an example, let's say we are designing a buck converter like we did in one of the previous videos. Now since MOSFET in that circuit switching with a very high frequency, diode you need in that circuit must have high switching speed and thus short key diode is an optimum choice. Now Zener diode. A Zener diode is made of PN junction but heavily doped compared to a normal diode. As a result, it can undergo breakdown without being damaged. And due to this property only, Zener is used as voltage regulators in electronic circuits. What is a voltage regulator? It's a simple component that helps to regulate the voltage between certain limits in an electronic circuit. In fact, Zener diodes are never used for rectification purposes. Here is a circuit in which Zener diode is used to prevent the MOSFET gate from destruction by clipping of voltage. Breakdown voltage of this Zener is 5.1 volt. Now if accidentally voltage at gate of MOSFET exceeds 5 volt, this diode breaks down and all current flows through the diode to ground and thus preventing the MOSFET. Here is another circuit in which two diodes are connected facing each other's P terminal. If AC signal is given at input, one diode clips off voltage in positive half whereas other in negative half and thus we get voltage under specific limit in both half cycle of AC at output. Now as an example, I use 5V Zener in the project digital voltmeter using Arduino, in which it is connected across capacitor to prevent Arduino in case voltage at its analog pin exceeds 5V. And with that being said, now you know all the basic differences and when to use rectifier, short key and Zener diode. You can also check blog post for quick review, link is in description. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Until then, I see you next time. Bye bye.